The First World War is not too far in the past. And at that time, Germans had once before been targets of mistrust and persecution. The enemy and the battlefields of Europe were far away back then, but the 20 million or so German Americans were tangibly near. An anti-German mood spreads throughout the United States and builds up to a propaganda campaign against the Kaiser and his Huns. Germans are accused of being wicked and not to be trusted. Hell is too good for the Hun is what you could see at anti-German parades. And President Wilson warns. And if there are any German Americans here who are still for the Kaiser, there is only one thing to do with them, and that is to hog tie them, give them back the wooden shoes and the rags they landed in, and ship them back to the fatherland. The mood escalates on April 5th 1918 in Collinsville, Illinois. The outraged mob wants to lynch mine worker Robert Prager. He is thought to be a spy. The police take him into protective custody. Robert Prager was a loyal American. He had applied for citizenship. He was considered suspect because he was a socialist and fought for workers' rights. The mob drags the innocent man through the city. Before they hanged him, they asked Robert Prager if he had any last words to say. Yeah, he answered with a heavy German accent. I would like to say a prayer and write a final letter to my parents. Fanatical patriots spied on German neighbors with whom they had lived together peacefully for years. A wave of arrests sets in. In Chicago alone, 5,000 Germans, particularly communists and intellectuals, were arrested and interned. Libraries were cleansed of German literature. The German press was closely monitored and censored. And America alters anything German in the language. German measles became liberty measles. Sauerkraut, liberty cabbage. Schools are no longer allowed to teach German. Anxious parents forbid their children from speaking German outside the home. German societies and regular get-togethers are spied on. Their theaters closed. During the First World War, even German classical music could no longer be played. It was safer to fit in and deny your heritage. German names are anglicized. Millions of German Americans declare their loyalty to their new homeland. They bear signs saying, born in Germany, made in America. There was no question of the danger. Our files told us that Walter Cappy in December 1941, the United States enters the Second World War. A hysterical fear of spies and saboteurs spreads. All foreigners are required to register as aliens. J. Edgar Hoover orders the FBI to monitor the German communities and their activities. The FBI arrests more than 10,000 Germans. The military is now keeping an eye on immigrants, most of whom are perfectly respectable. They are treated like prisoners of war and interned. 